Welcome to the Greenhouse Gases and Climate Change Unit. Let's start decoding the Greenhouse Gases Base Model. To start off with, we'll move down to the code, and in this code we can see that there are many different tabs. Each of these tabs is a new breed, so one of the first things that has happened in this code is that different breeds have been added. A sun breed was added, a solar energy breed was added, a heat breed was added, and a reflected energy breed was added and we don't have a turtles breed. So to start decoding, let's start off in the world and look at where when setup is pushed. So within the setup procedure, we have a lot of different things happening. So when setup is first pushed, the line graph is cleared, the counter for heat data box is set to zero, all the agents are deleted, and then one sun is created. We set that sun's position by setting the x, y, and z to 0, 0, and 25. So this z25 means that it will be above what we consider to be the ground in our model. Then we're going to set the color to yellow because we want the sun to look yellow. Its size will be 5, which is a lot larger than the default size, and the shape will be a sphere. So that way we end up with a yellow large sphere that looks like a sun floating above the ground. So that's what happens when we push setup. When forever is toggled, a few different things happen. The line graph widget is updated. So we have the line graph heat, which is already in the model, and it is updated on the x-axis, the clock is being measured, and on the y-axis, all of the heat in the model is being counted. The data box is also being updated in the forever other code that we have here on our world is the hide graphs and show graphs push buttons. So we saw that up here we had show graphs and hide graphs. So when we hit hide graphs, remember, the graph would hide. We show graphs, the graph would show up again. So these buttons were set up down here in the world. So when hide graphs is pushed, the heat graph hides. When show graphs is pushed, the heat graphs is shown. Let's go on and start decoding the sun. <clears throat> in the setup, we created a large yellow sun that was floating above the surface. In the sun's page, we see two different things happening. There is a procedure called hatch solar energy that is being called while forever is toggled. When forever is toggled, the procedure hatch solar energy is called. And now let's decode that procedure hatch solar energy. What this is telling us is that the sun is going to hatch solar energy at random locations on the same level as the sun with the same color and shape but a much smaller size and it will have a random heading. Since this is in the forever toggle, this is going to be a loop. The sun is going to keep hatching solar energy while forever is toggled. Let's look at the solar energy breed code. Within solar energy, which was created by the sun, we have two different procedures as well as a while forever toggled block. So let's look at those two procedures first. In the procedure hatch heat, the solar energy is going to create one heat breed and set its color to red, its shape to a sphere, and its size to size one. In the procedure hatch reflected energy, solar energy is going to create one reflected energy breed, set its color to yellow, its shape to a sphere, and its size to one. In the forever toggled, we have a nested if-else conditional block. So the first conditional says, if my z, which is the height above the surface, is greater than or equal to zero, so is not touching the surface, go down one. So if that's not the case, if a random 100 gives a number less than or equal to 60, so this would be about 60% of the time, call the procedure hatch reflected energy and then delete yourself. Else, 40% of the time, call hatch heat procedure. So instead of an energy, a reflected energy, a heat molecule will be created and then delete yourself. This whole forever toggled group is saying that as long as the solar energy is not touching the ground, the solar energy should keep going down. If the solar energy is touching the ground, 
then 60% of the time the solar energy will create a reflected energy and then die, and then the rest of the time, which is 40% of the time, the solar energy will create heat breed and then delete itself. Let's look at the heat breed tab now. So that heat breed will, once it's created and while forever is toggled, will do one of two things. It will go up by 0.5 at a time as long as its distance above the ground, its z, is less than or equal to 20. But once it reaches 20, it will delete itself. The reflected energy breed will do something similar. So while forever is toggled, reflected energy will go up by 1 until it hits 20. And then it will delete itself. And that's it. That's what we have in the code.